What is going on, everybody? Welcome to week 10 of our Big 12 Team Builder Dynasty. We have a good one on tap here. Little Rock hosting us at home. We're the Ardmore Thunderwolves, and we're at Riverbank Stadium. Little Rock upset you guys last year, so it's going to be tough sledding here, maybe, maybe, against this Little Rock team. Defense has not played as well as they had in the non-conference slate, but we have incomplete downfield. So you threw on third and one there, kind of testing the defense early. Testing the defense early. They've had some struggles here late, later on in the season, like you had mentioned, but they were really good early on. We can see Gunnar Rivers was slicing and dicing us up last season, but that run game is pretty strong for Little Rock. They're going to lean on a more balanced attack against us, I'm sure of it. Rivers going to slant out to Keneal Mason, and he makes a big play, going to get 20 and pick up that first down. First and 10 and Isaiah Green. Look at all these holes for Isaiah Green. The Red Sea has parted. Third and nine here for Rivers in the red zone. Trying to find somebody, and he will. That's Keneal Mason down at the well, one yard line. One yard line. I have no idea how he caught that. I don't either. I mean, we see right there. But you're challenging. You think he's short of the first down. Yeah, it looked like he was more at the two, but they gave him forward progress, and it's going to be a first down. Isaiah, Isaiah Green, one cut to the left for a touchdown. Ardmore losing 7 nothing. Fourth and inches, you guys are going for it? Have to. Aggressive call. Have to. We can't go down 14 to nothing against a little rock. Pass complete up the middle to Eric Buchanan, who is starting to get more involved in this Ardmore offense as of late. Here's a little play action, and gonna fire out. Oh, what? Willie Nelson with the catch. 12 yard touchdown. Really not a good throw by Stanfield. Probably should have thrown the ball earlier. Savage was wide open right earlier than that. Yeah. But the tip. Throws then, wide. Willie got it, though. Woo. Hands are under it. And it is good. So 7-7 here right before the oh. end of the first quarter. And Isaiah Green God. is loose. God. Uh, he's gone. What is that? Battle on. Battle Hawks. Good Lord. Battle that, till you win this game. It's terrible. Yeah. It's so bad tackling right there. Not good, guys. Stanfield here with the pump fake. And he's shooting out there to J.K. Johnson. Nice gain. Nice gain. He was near the sideline on that slant. Turned up back up field for extra yardage. And then, oh, Eric Buchanan. What a read by Grayson Stanfield. With Ardmore losing so far, we got to make some big plays. But that's a really nice one by Nate Myrick near the end zone to bat this away. Third and seven. And, oh, good read. Good read. Darnell Savage, the freshman, comes up big off the press coverage. Found him in the back end of the end zone. Nice job, 14-14. Rivers wide open. Keneal Mason down the sideline. He's been big so far for this offense. Gunner likes throwing to Keneal. Let's see if he got a man down there. That's McBride, the tight end, and he's gonna force his way into the end zone, not down at the one yard line. Andrews. And McBride with a nice stiff arm there. And your safety couldn't haul him down. Nope, and you know what? Andrews was pretty good last year, but that one was not so good. And now Darnell Savage making a big time catch again, this time for 42. This guy has come on as of late. The more experience he gets, the better he's becoming as a receiver. We knew with that raw potential, he was gonna be a good one. Stanfield, second and six, pass complete to Savage again. Nice route, nine yards with an out route and second and goal, Brent Guerrero. Nice job, get that run up the middle. It is 21 to 21. We're all even. We're all square here nearing the end of the second quarter. Third and 13. Gunner trying to put some points on the board. Dancing around in the pocket. You're going to chuck it deep and oh, Boyd. Get, get what? We lo he lost the man. I took control of him way too late. Yeah. I took control of him way too late. He was already in the back of the end zone. Like the, the ball's not even going to be there, but Rivers, look at that perfect spiral, that Hail Mary grab and Terry Callahan. Look at that. Just I mean, fair catch. Basically, nobody was even on him. It was just bad. Bad news bears. But another deep shot against this Little Rock secondary. And J.K. Johnson going to get 48-yard grab here. He pushes him up to 95. Look at that terrible coverage by Del Greco there. Somehow he got burned. And J.K., the big guy, going to get that huge catch. So first and goal, Stanfield, back of the end zone. Eric Buchanan, nice little tippy-toe grab there. Good throw by Stanfield. He's got three touchdowns already in the second quarter like these were these receivers these quarterbacks it's going back and forth back and forth 28 28 and rivers taking this read option andrew's the only line of defense he can't even tackle the quarterback Gunner, gunner's a big dude and he'll scramble on occasion and now they're starting to lean on him with the read option game 
moving downfield. So that's pretty good. Just changing some things up here. 532 left. The pitch goes out to Callahan. Andrews is on him, and he's going to light him up. He's going down hard. And Isaiah Green up the middle. Diggs. Another big hit, but first down for the Battle Hawks. So second and goal. Gunner. God. He's got him. Terry can't, Callahan. Can't, you, can't, you can't win on that. Can't win on the slants, guys. Can't do it. So 35 to 28. Callahan for his second touchdown of the game. Stanfield having to get something off and can't get the throw off here. He's going to get sacked. Not good. Little Rock bringing the pressure. Not good. Back-to-back -back sacks, and Little Rock's defense starting to find themselves here late in the third quarter. Here's a screen pass on third and five, that dreaded third down screen, and Isaiah Green going to get dropped. So Ardmore has another shot here. Brent Guerrero missing some tackles. He's got one man to beat. Can't beat Mitchell, the Ole Miss transfer, and he's going to run for 41. Stanfield go. is going to find Odell Streeter on the little flat route. Wow, across the field. That was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good guy to, to find there on that play. But we see here, McBride. He's loose. Man. He's loose. Diggs is going to haul him down, but he's inside the 25. Second and three. And Isaiah Green going to muscle his way Jeez. forward. We can't get a stop, guys. Seems like every play call we call is just not good enough. And then Mike Monet shoving off the tackler and the user... Me, can't get him stopped here. Monet's money, why do we show kickoffs? Good things happen on kickoffs. Streeter gets it to the 50. Oof, midfield. That is crucial for this Ardmore offense right now, guys. Pass gonna be completed to Willie Nelson. Has already made a good grab here already in this game for that touchdown. Four minutes, this is a crucial drive here for Ardmore and a pass gonna be completed to Tarnell Savage again. This time for 28, five touchdowns for Stanfield. And Darnell has made some insane contested coverage catches early on in his freshman season this year. Unreal. Third and five, and Gunner's going to have to throw it away. So 227. Ardmore with the football. We could win the game right here with a touchdown, but a sack. Ugh. It's Jonathan Hamilton. Third and 17. Stanfield throwing up the middle. And Trahan's going to defend it. So... They have a chance to win this game. Little Rock can put them away as Gunner with a minute 45 going deep. Oh, good coverage. Yeah, good coverage. Just couldn't come through with the interception. Got stone cold hands here and a sack. That is huge. Ardmore with another possession here. And what a throw. Back up the middle. So Markham with this catch. 20 seconds to go. Stanfield going to fire out to the left. Oh, we had, had the, the A. a. Had the A. Right up the middle. We're trying to save time. I get. I don't know. That was a bad throw. Stanfield with pressure on him. Can't get the... Oh, he got the throw off. JK with the catch. And now it's fourth and four. What do you do? We're going to try to kick this field goal with Trey Day with the wind helping us. Uh, and he's going to push it right. Might not have had enough distance either as we'll see on this replay, but Trey Day has got a big leg, so you guys thought it might be worth a shot to win. Trey Day, gonna miss. Trey Day all day. Six seconds to go. Rivers and Little Rock, one more possession. They're gonna fire deep. It looks like they got a man. It's gonna go incomplete, and we are going to OT. Okay, Ardmore, Colin Tails, they will lose the coin flip. Little Rock will start on defense, so advantage. Battle Hawks, but not for long. J.K. Johnson with the touchdown. 49-42, Ardmore. Rivers trying to respond. He will get him. Keneal Mason down at the one-yard line. Happened again. Yeah, he can't get in. But Isaiah Green. He's going to clean it up. Second and 10 here. Rivers. Little Rock back with the ball. Trying to find somebody. He's throwing oh, off his back foot into no. coverage. And he that gets is on. Real Terry Callahan. Callahan to drag his feet. Second and two, Stanfield. He's got Savage. Ball's out, though. Third and two now. And you are going to run option. Go to Streeter. Makes ah, a nice cut. Yeah. First down, though. That was big. First and goal here. Looks like you guys are going to cash in. Stanfield ties it up. There we go. All right, so 56-56 now. And you know what? We got to go go for two on touchdowns now. So pretty dire situation, but what a play 
by Del Greco right there to make that pass incomplete. And then Savage, he was open. He just couldn't get the first down, so we have to settle for the field goal. You're just not going to risk it. We can't risk it. You have to go for it and just trust your defense here. Maybe you hold them for a field goal themselves. So but Bridges going to get more than that first down on the first play of this triple overtime. And then Gunnar Rivers is going to end it with the move and the <laughs> touchdown for Little Rock. Wow. And Gunnar Rivers does it again to the number one team in the land. Ardmore goes down in triple overtime. I mean, our tackling was not good today, and that was epitomized on that play right there. Yeah, yeah, Ardmore's defense did not show up today. Through four quarters and change, they just did not really have it. Gunnar Rivers, though, does get the big win. He has sort of this negative narrative chasing him, like he can't win big games at Little Rock, but he's won a handful. It's hard to win Big 12 championships at Little Rock, so Gunner's doing pretty well there. Now we have Odessa State at Nebraska State. Battle of ranked teams. Some people question why Odessa State is even ranked at this point. Three consecutive Big 12 losses. They're 0-3 in conference play. We're going to try to get this running game going. We got blown out last week against Ardmore. We got to reestablish our offensive identity and kind of just figure something out. We're trying to get Ronnie Rouse Involved, Yeah, he's a speed he, guy. He's a speed guy, but he's going to make a drop. We're going for fourth and one, two. Derek Smith on a bubble screen that took really, really long to develop. Third and four here. Great play by Rosario. <laughs> you don't want to mess with Rosario. And then we are running fake, but Robinson's left-handed. And I didn't think about that. No, no. Just the little touches. Just the little touches that yeah. cost you inches. I know. So we are struggling to score. Harris Austin, big catch. Johnny Johnson Jr. is running, and he's going to get hauled down. Sack for a five-yard loss by Marshall Jennings Hoyt. Third and 14. Johnson, they do the, the screen on third and 14. Picked up a good chunk of yard. Eh? Yeah, it was a good tackle. Shoestring yeah. tackle to save that first down. That looked bad from the start, but a good recovery. Kimberling going to pick up the first down here, 12 yards. Shinovsky kind of getting to a rhythm there, and just as I say that, then he throws to the back of the defender. And it's going to go incomplete. So fourth and three, you guys are going to have to go for it again just to, just to hang with Odessa. They got one of the best offenses in all the country. Yeah, we know that. And we know our defense isn't going to make too many stops today. So we are trying to make things happen like that. I'm pretty sure I had two open receivers on that play. Yeah, the one on the sideline there, the RB. <laughs> yeah, but Schnosky didn't see him. So he's going to throw an interception up the middle of the field. But Ronnie Rouse jumps the route. He's playing safety. Go. Can he go? He's go. going all the way. Oh, oh no, but I can't move. Like the, the stick literally locked. I'm going straight with the stick. It was when he broke the second tackle. Yeah, there's a little glitch. Like the guy, right. The guy that draped around his legs. Right. Right there. there. From that point, I could not change direction. There's no reason to run out of bounds there. That was a pick six. You have not. You would not have done that. That was ridiculous. But we see that Hargrove with the spin move going to get to third and inches. But, you know, hey, you took a pass away from Paris Austin. He made a yeah. dive for that, and he couldn't get it. Yep. Yeah. First and ten. I think I threw to the wrong guy. Because McCoy and the tight end were in the vicinity, but so was Joe Fitzpatrick. Kind of an underrated player in this team builder dynasty. This is the prototypical game that you hear all about the talk on ESPN or the or game day, basically, that it's going to be a high-scoring game, and then you get 0-0 at the end of the first. Yeah, you're like, what's going on? I did not pay for this. No. I did not go to the game to watch defense. Here's the first down. Doug Williams gets spun around. Third and eight. Johnny Johnson's going to throw this one away. So eight of 12 in the early going. And the first points of the game via field goal. Fourth and inches, going to John Tavius Nichols up the middle. What so is going on with the defense? Our offense is not very good, and this dates back to the Ardmore game. We're just not doing things well. We could have had 10 points already, but you, we have zero. You could say they're in a slump because yeah. the narrative here that Nebraska State has a good offense. Yeah, so we're going for it again. Got it to Derek Smith. So we are forcing the issue here against Odessa State. What is that, like four fourth downs you guys are converting I on? So. I'm pretty sure. Shinovsky's rolling out oh. and pivots to Derek Smith with the rollout cheese. Ben Shinovsky, <laughs> 33 <laughs> yards. So we're finally on the board. Oh, God. It took a quarter and a half. Well, you had pressure on you. There's not. It's not like you're going to take a sack. So just 
you know, let it happen. It's not your fault the receivers are wide open. Here's Johnny Johnson going down. The ball's out and recovered by Carter. So the Prairie Dogs get a turnover. McKeldery. Yeah, good with awareness. The sack. And Johnny Johnson going to lose the football. And now Prairie Dogs can build up a pretty substantial lead here. Here's the second and two, and Corey Hargrove, one of my favorite runners. Where has Dante LaBelle been? Has he been hurt? No, we've just been rolling with Hargrove. We just feel like it's the right move. Shinoski will dive into the end zone for a touchdown. It's now 14 to three. Yeah, so the offense for Odessa State has been waning here in this game. They've been relying on Johnny Johnson. You guys, for the most part, have shut him down. I mean, look at this pass here. Gonna be right on the money to Nance, and he just dropped it. Bad drop, minute. 30 left, Schnoski dropping back, and this time he can't escape the pressure. Second and 24 getting set up now, so. More defense. Got a third and 24 here, Schnoski's rolling out, and we go to Smith, and oh no! no. We try to spin, and he goes the way that I didn't want him to go. I so. will admit that, that one was a little rollout cheese. You kind of deserve that spin. Well, move I guess all's fair, <laughs> all is fair. 38 seconds. Here's Johnny Johnson with some rollout cheese. Going down the field. <laughs> past the 40-yard line. He's doing it. 30 seconds. Johnson's Johnson doing it. slings it. Caught by Parks. Right in between two Prairie Dog defenders. I feel like we should have made a play on that. Second and 20 here with about 10 seconds. Johnson, no! Ah. We give it up to Aaron Lee from 20 yards. I've never heard of this player. Aaron uh, Lee. He's, he's popped up a couple times. Here's Bubba Robinson trying to make a play down field to McCoy. Oh, yeah, almost had it off the deflection. Yeah, it's going to be hard to score it. You there. wanted Bubba in that situation just because he's got he's got more arm strength. Got the arm strength. Exactly. Can help for a Hail Mary. Johnson sliding <gasps> off his back foot to the no. tight end, Victor Newton. Gets 45 yards. That was just, that's tough. Johnny Johnson Jr., second and 10 here. He's got a wide open guy in Washington. He'll probably get some push off or something there. Like, that's the only way you get that wide open. Yeah, I see some numbers there. Odessa State really controlling it offensively. And we're going to open the half with Bubba. Bubba Robinson going to open the half. Interesting call. I mean, you guys are losing 17 14, but that doesn't really call for a quarterback change. Yeah, I don't know. He's one of five so far. Third and 10, goes to Kimberling underneath. He's short. What do you guys think we're gonna do? Go for it. We run a read option with Bubba, and we get it. So there you go. Okay, I think we're just gonna stick with Bubba. This is crazy. I just had a good feeling. So wait a minute. I just now, have a good feeling about Everybody Bubba that Robinson. wanted Bubba Robinson in for Shinoski are probably thinking like, what are you doing now? But we see here, Derek Smith, he finds the open man, and Derek Smith does the rest. Awesome. Awesome, awesome sauce. But that's the thing, like, I guarantee you, people in the comments right now are saying, like, why put in Bubba? You losing. Put in Shinoski. <laughs> yeah, so, no matter what you do, as a Nebraska State yeah. fan, it's wrong. But we, here's a good these stop. These are quarterbacks. So. Yeah, it's it's not a quarterback haven by any means. And Bubba's still out there, and now he throws a pick. That was a really bad one. Well, that route, when he's going up against the press thing, he should have beaten him, yeah. but the throw was low and inside versus high and outside yeah. and the db recovered so it was just like i don't know what now do we go to shinoski because we're about to lose the lead here right by the end of the third quarter we're about to lose the lead johnny johnson runs it up the middle he's in 24 21 odessa state you got 645 bubba's still in there man oh he's gonna run nice throw he's still in there here nice catch by kimberling down the sideline using his athleticism and Bubba searching, scanning the field, gonna find Derek Smith again. Smith's kind of been his target. And they're gonna run more option. And Bubba, nice job. And he draws the face mask potentially, unless this is a hold. We'll see. It looks like yeah. it is gonna be a face mask. He's a little bit stiffer of a runner than, than Ben Shinoski is, but it'll keep me in the pocket. So I guess you guys will be happy with that. First and goal, third and goal now. Bubba. Rolling, trying to find somebody. He's going to make the smart decision. Wow, oh, he had some pocket presence. That's crazy. And now the kick. No. We didn't look at the wind. Wind was blowing 13 miles an hour, and I paid zero attention to it. God. We missed the chip shot. No, Nebraska State. Sloan is the only man to catch Dougie Williams. Third and five. Oh, my God. Johnson Jr. trying to build on that lead. It's going to be Parks. He oh. dropped it. 
Wow. He were he was wide open. We might survive thanks to that. We're gonna have to score though. It's a six point game. So we need need some a miracle. So why are we not going with Ben Shinovsky? I don't know. Total gut feeling. Saying Bubba, go out there and win this game. Oh my god. Vivaldi gets a first down. Twelve yards. I think Shinovsky was dinged up for a little bit, and I just decided to keep rolling with Bubba. I, I'm shaking in my boots here a little bit because, yeah. you know, this is the most extended action we've ever seen of Bubba Robinson, and now we're getting it, and, you know, he's basically just kind of checking down and letting his receivers do all the work. Yeah. Which is, it works, but I'm not impressed yet. Well, here you go. Touchdown, Dante LaBelle. So we get it. Back to LaBelle. The bell cow, he's back. We're going to kick the extra point, take the lead. We got a minute 30 now. Johnny Johnson goes to Williams. Going to get hauled down shy oh my God. by Reese. Second of one here. Field goal is going to win this game. And Johnson makes a play on the football. Third and one now. Like I said, field goal wins. Johnson trying to find somebody open. Somebody's probably going to be busted loose. He could have ran for it. Oh. And he's going to fumble at the <laughs> offensive line and gets it. No way. Steve oh. Copeland. Are you kidding me? Gets the first down. And where's Paris Austin been? I don't He's know. Been shut down, but 57 seconds and Johnson gets sacked. By Adrian McCray, third and 18 now. Johnny Johnson's going to fumble again. So now we're looking at a fourth and 27. You can't do this if you're Johnson. Fourth and 27. Here we go. They go underneath trying to make something happen, but Dixon, good wrap up tackle, not allowing for any sort of trickery yep laterals i'll take it i'll take it and odessa state goes down they have not won a conference game yet you get a bounce back w a grindy w albeit but a good one for nebraska state especially with bubba it's a game that we probably should have lost there's no quarterback controversy it was just a total matchup gut play but uh, here we have acu and this n64 character is like the ghost uh... he's like the the protector <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Either. He came from the wrong console system. Shreveport at the, the Shreve taking on ACU. Is this the time to buy into Shreveport? They got the black unis. Here we go. I think I have a I have a theory about that guy. What's he was that? A, he was a time traveler. Could be. He came from ACU past. Yeah. I think that that's who he was. Could be. Shreveport's gonna go three and out. So a lot of people criticizing their offensive scheme but they have adapted a little bit but they still do a lot of running the football up the middle a lot of under center stuff detractors probably feeling pretty good about themselves right now this report went three and out so third and four here acu under center they go draw to hassan bonner and he gets a first down so the biggest game in shreveport history so far is not looking too good here's danowski to the house goes down so that's kind of unnecessary roughness a little bit like Come on. You had him tackled, just give up at that point. But third and eight now for Shreveport, and a big hit, going to stop Seidel Riggin short. And are they going to have to punt away? They do punt it away. So for the number five team in the nation, you're right. They are not looking like that so far as Ugh. a busted off tackle. And then Alex Jefferson, who is having himself a heck of a season so far, gets another touchdown on his ledger. I mean, it was wide open. There was nobody there except yeah. the safety. Yeah, and he couldn't. Make the tackle. Go low, go low. Nope, not gonna make it. So second and 15 here. We gotta run up the middle. Riggins, they're take that. sticking to it. Yeah, I mean, you'll take that. Third and manageable at this point. Remember, ACU's number 10 team in the nation, but they're much more talented than Shreveport is. So Shreveport to be number five and just hanging in there right now is okay. But this pass completed yet again, and Shreveport can't make the tackle until they're in the end zone. Yet again, Jared Kirk. So the deep shots have been working for ACU. 11 of 13 for Joe Russell, and it's just like there's no end in sight. So wearing the black unis, looking all cool and sweet and it's, pro it's, combat, and they're just laying an egg right now. Literally an egg. It's a dud right Zero now. Zero points. Second and seven. They are sticking with the ground game, though. So Shreveport not panicking yet. Maybe the next touchdown they're going to start panicking. I so would. far, look at this run. He went all that way for a zero yard game. <laughs> to go sideways. <laughs> Come so, on, Rasheed Davis. Rasheed Davis, you're better than that, man. But a pass is going to be completed here to Travis Jackson, custom recruit Travis Jackson, 
for six yards, but they're gonna spot it for third and three. Big down here for Shreveport. The Shreve is going wild. Can they get the first down? He looks short, but they're gonna give it to him. They're gonna give him the spot. So Travis Jackson being the clutch guy here on this drive gets two first downs. Yeah, second and inches. Still running the football. Riggins, look oh. at that vicious stiff arm. Oh, go, He's baby! Going. Oh, oh, oh down, no! Down at the Come on. One yard line. That's too much work not to score, so That's he will get it in for a two-yard touchdown on second down. If you're going to go hard like that, your momentum is definitely carrying you into the end zone. There's no way you're getting stopped there. Like, you're not, yeah. your, your will is not going to be denied here. But 21-7, as we go into the second half, Hassan Bonner, that's a good stop. But then they're going to pick up nine on the next play. Third and two, pass complete. Another first down for ACU. They keep chugging along. They keep nipping away at yeah. Shreveport. Shreveport coming out with some attitude, though, in oh! this half. And if interceptions going the other way. Go! It's going to get hauled down. But the pick made by Shreveport, it's Ezekiel Picard. You don't want to mess with this dude. No, his nickname's Picks. Yeah. You don't want to mess with him. Ezekiel Picks Picard. 543. So Shreveport can still. Okay. Uh, no. They can still figure some things out. Uh, you have hope in this right now? Well, Billy Joe Hops just straight up assaulted Rasheed Davis. I right picked now. Shreveport in this game, but now I'm I'm regretting that because this looks ridiculous right now. There's just there's like no effort right now other than Sidal Riggins on some of these runs. Third and six and Rasheed. Believe in Rasheed, right? Oh, maybe not. Fourth and six. 52 yards. They are holding him yards past. Yeah. It's, it's just not acceptable. 21-10. By Dorino. Yeah, a really good kick. They needed that. Oh, yeah. Here's Russell going down. Look at the Shreve. The defense stepping up here. Third and 15. And, oh, oh of course, third down screen on third and 15. Get seven. Okay. Russell's right. getting irritated, though. Still 21-10. First down. Goes to the side. Oh. And it slips through. That's Canatella. The former quarterback... How about this? You get Riggins up the middle for first down, so they're still running the football. All right, well, they do a little quarterback draw fake there. Run there. Third and three. After that, pass complete. Oh, and fight, three. man. Go. They're going to give it to him. Rob Jackson gets the first down, the backup running back, and look at his running ability here. He's going to get 10, and now they've got a first and goal with 13 seconds left to go. Oh. Riggins gets laid out by Friedman Churchwell. Third and goal oh, as the no. fourth quarter begins, and Riggins gets stopped. What is that? A draw? Third and eight, though. Hey, field goal. Down by eight now. Yeah, but come on. Throw the football. And that's another low confidence call right there by ACU running the draw. Davis goes deep here. And he's going to get Tyler Jones okay. for 24. All right, so uh, the Shreve is starting to believe right now, and they're going to try a deep shot. It passes it. caught by Travis Jackson. Down at the one-yard line. Okay, maybe I was wrong. He's going to beat Hinsky. Maybe I was right. Still, I don't know. I, I went back and forth, but Riggins is going to get the touchdown. Now they're down by two. So they've held ACU scoreless in the second half. Yeah, this would be a comeback for the ages if they can pull this off. 21-21. Here we go. Here we first go. first and 10, 425, and oh no! The interception! And look who it is! It's Tyler Dykes, the freshman linebacker that were on so many Big 12 team builder recruiting boards from a year ago. He should be playing in Nebraska State. Gonna make this play, and look at that, he's pumping up the Shreve. They're going crazy. Again, held scoreless, 28 scoreless by Shreveport. That's incredible. For this offense, for Shreveport to do that offensively and to hold this offense to nothing in the second half is crazy. So they're going to get ACU out second and four. ACU defense trying to hold on. Third and two. Let's see if they can get the stop. They break through the oh. contain, and they're going to get them short. No. Corey DeLoach, she's starting to feel some pressure on that hot seat. First and 10, two minutes going underneath. That's going to be caught by Bonner. Don't do it, Shreve. Don't do this to everybody. Come on now. Get, get, this, get this W here. Second and five. 
Pass is gonna go incomplete as Russell had to get rid of it. Third and five, they got two downs to work with here. Russell, feeling a little bit of pressure. You're gonna get it off. <laughs> Only for two to David Donowski, so one play. Shreveport, one play. Come on, got stop it? him short. Oh no, they're they gonna stop him. Stop him. They and went to Paco von Waldenberg? On that situation, you're gonna go to Paco. He, has, he hasn't been proven yet. Where's Alex Jefferson? Where's Hassan Bonner? Where's your playmakers? Shreveport, you guys deserve this one. Believe, Celebrate. Believe in the Shreve. Believe in Rashid. I'm so depressed right now. I'm so depressed. This is something the old Ardmore Thunderwolves would do. We would lose a big game and then kind of put ourselves back a little bit and allow other teams in the Big 12 to kind of work their magic in to try to get into a Big 12 title game. This sucks. Yeah, this Little Rock team really might have your number, okay? Because Griffin Rivers has beaten you twice now. In two years. Something to think about. 544 to 530. Little Rock ran for 213 yards, which is different. Although Griffin was electrifying here. Five touchdowns on the ground. Yeah, I mean, that's hard to defend. Keneal Mason had 86 and Callahan with three. Guy was a monster all day. Although, Little Rock, their, de their defense has evaporated this season. It's pretty bad. Yeah, they were one of the best defenses in the entire country. And we had been talking about them as something a really ex extremely special unit. And then all of a sudden, they've just gotten exposed. But our receiving game was on fire. Buchanan with 98 and a score. Nelson with a score. Savage with two. Odell Street with one. JK with one. I mean, we were on fire. Stanfield was great. But unfortunately, our defense was not. Ugh. Ugly. Ugly loss for Amarillo. And, you know, Andres Buckley is, he's coming for that Heisman. Yeah, and he's a perfect fit for this style of offense. So is Harkless Blair, but you see Buckley, 100 yards, three touchdowns, and the Muscleman Bowl this year will go to McAllen. So the former head coach of McAllen is going to drop his first game to his old team here. Henry with the one score, Griffin Rivers. There you are. I see you down there. Denver Tech not exactly setting the world on fire here. 27 to 12, and I don't really know what that means. A negative eight yard touchdown run. I don't know. I can't explain that. I don't get that one. That's odd. 481 to 293. Oh, I know what it means. He ran backwards into the end zone. It's now the negative eight <laughs> yard line monster, I guess. I don't know. Nick Burns caught a score here. Camu. Jake Reyes had to come in a little bit. Freeman just not very effective today. And it's kind of a common occurrence so far for Kansas AM and the season. You ever know about those musicians that were like one-hit wonders? Jace Freeman would be that kind of that kind of quarterback. Oh my. This game, 28-27. What a game it was. Yeah, uh, I would say so. 433 to 409. I don't know how I feel about the Bubba Robinson thing. Because, as we talked about, some coach, Clint Langford, just plugged him in on a whim because he thought he could play against this defense better than Shinovsky. So I don't know if that panned out, but Nebraska State does get the victory regardless. So uh, it could have been really bad. could have been really bad if Bubba lost that game. I thought Johnson played pretty well, but uh, this wasn't quite enough. Austin, four yards short of 100 here. There was a lot of risk in that decision by Coach Langford to go with Bubba in that situation. You guys don't really have a lot of uh, leeway to start losing conference games. And Shreveport beats ACU 28-21 to in a great, great finish. And guys, they scored 18 points in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter comeback was on. Is this the team of destiny? They're 8-0. Well, they literally shut out ACU from the second quarter on and finished the game on a 28-0 run, despite getting outgained. So I think if Russell does not throw that pick six, I think this is a totally different game. I think ACU probably would have figured out a way to win this one, but the offense just got shut down. Shreveport got the running game going. The question that a lot of people are going to be asking after this game is, of course, the, the old one that always seems to pop up. Did ACU lose the game or did Shreveport win the game? Well, what I'm worried about now, too, is head coach Corey DeLoach. 
I'm is worried he, about him too. Is he succumbing to Harbaugh syndrome? Okay, because like AC has been pretty good, but they're, I mean, especially like this year, a one in three conference record is something that is unacceptable at ACU. So now the fans are going to be asking questions. I don't think that they've ever had three losses in a regular season. Oh, big surprise here. Midland yeah. State cakewalk over Uba 45-17. Uba is just terrible. 587 <laughs> to 396. <laughs> we talk about it every single week. It's just this fall from grace. We just don't know where or why it happened. But it is that it is this way. And, or when it's going to end. Or, yeah, when it, when is it going to end? When's this train going to stop? Well, I mean, they're down to the back of quarterback here. Buster Smith is getting some work in for Broken Arrow, but it's not really leading to anything substantial. And it's not his fault. I don't think it's his fault either. I, Buchanan Simmons, though, I have to give him credit because he is balling out despite Uva's struggles. He doesn't care about the drama. He just plays ball. So that's actually going to be it for week number 10. Just a little depressing for some people. A lot of people are on some highs. Nebraska State fans for sure. Odessa State fans, not so much. Ardmore fans, not so much. It sucks. So let's move on from week 10 and take a look here at week 11. And this is a big game for both programs. Little Rock wants to beat ACU, their intrastate rival, and pretty much kick ACU while they're down. ACU needs to get off the schneid against Little Rock. It'd be a good time to do it. Shreveport against Ardmore. Ah. Uh, Report, you might say, starting to get the mantra of believe in Rashid. Well, they have the expectations on them now, so it's going to be tough for Shreveport to come out on the road, beat Ardmore. I want to put Denver Tech a little bit on upset alert because I feel like Odessa is just better than that record. So I feel like Odessa might push Denver Tech. We always talk about Denver Tech on upset I, alert. I know, but McAllen Midland... This game is a it's a cross divisional rivalry game, so we know there's a lot on the line, as well as a lot of, for the division standings. Because Midland is still in the thick of things in the West, McAllen in a good spot in the East now that Ardmore has lost a game. So, and then you have Amarillo at Broken Arrow. Amarillo got to get that record mm -hmm. positive. Yeah, it'd be a good time to do it against two and six Broken Arrow. Again, the arrows are broken. We actually didn't do a little mini preview on NSU and Camu. So what do we got here for a little mini preview? I got I got nothing. I, I don't know. I think Shinasi's going to start. But, I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't. Camu season? Yeah. Like, I don't know where it's headed. I don't know. I don't know where Camu is headed. We've, we've got Leafy here going, going to the right side of things. I mean, that's where he's pointed. He knows where he's going. But the team... Bud Warner, the program, the final season is mm. not really. Nobody knows. Not really gone very. The well. swan song of the the gray-haired legend, Bud Warner. So, guys, we will see you back here on Wednesday for the Week 11 full-on preview for the recruiting. So, guys, leave a like if you like this thing. We'll see you then. As always, peace.